In this video, guys, we're gonna look at five hacks for trading from home. Stay tuned. Hey traders, one welcome to you. Right, so as I'm filming this, we're coming out of lockdown, specifically in the UK. I know that other countries are out of lockdown already. Regardless of that, many people do trade from home. Many people have other obligations and aren't trading full-time anyway, but if you are trading full-time, home office is probably accounts for 95% of traders. Some of us have an office elsewhere that we go into as well. Some people may trade from work as well, but you get the idea. The point is trading from home is there and there's loads of benefits from it as well. The cost of commuting, etc., etc., etc. Don't need to go into that. However, there's a few downsides to it because most of the time when we're at home, it's our home, it's when we relax, you might have a family, there, you might have a partner there, it's where you, you know, may watch some movies, where you sleep, where you cook food, you know, it's a different environment to one of business and of trading. And so you've got to be careful that the two don't mix too much. The benefits are great, but of course, sometimes they can blend in and make it a little bit of a challenge for you. And many people, that's one of the reasons why many people do actually, especially when they're full-time traders, get an office to trade from or trade from a different location so they have that separation. That's not always feasible. There's costs involved and that might not want to do that. Perfectly understandable, you know. So how can we make trading from home the best it can be? The main thing, one of the main things, guys, is to have a uh, an area where you trade from. And not, not everyone's got a, uh, a dedicated room, I get that. You know, space is, is restricted. But, you know, if you have a place where you can only, that's the only place you will execute a trade. So in other words, I think it's fine if you tap your laptop to be maybe over at the dining table, in the kitchen, the living room, in the whatever, and using your laptop to research stuff and using the advance of your laptop or smartphone, iPad, whatever it may be, to actually research your trades and to put your journal in and do the stuff that's not trading around the home. I think that's fun and I definitely think that's great. You know, if you're out in the garden on a nice day, whatever it may be, you want to be out there enjoying stuff. And so, you know, take advantage of that. However, I think it's a good idea to have a specific room or area, wherever your main focused area is, that that's the only place you will actually execute a trade from. And what that does is it stops you being out in the garden, it stops you being in the living room, the dining room, whatever you, whatever room you're in, kitchen, and just thinking, I'll just take that trade because I like it. What it does is it makes you go, right, I'll do my due diligence and research and charts and market analysis and stuff, wherever I happen to be on my smartphone, tablet, uh, laptop, whatever, but I cannot pull the trigger unless I'm in my specific area. That might be a little home office. It might be a little area, whatever it may be. And that's the only place I will pull the trigger on a trade. And that stops you from just randomly pulling the trigger when you're in different parts of the house or different parts of your apartment or wherever you live and, 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 and not having the correct thought about the trade. It's a big one, this, because it makes you think, do I really want to take the trade? I'm now in the mode of risk management. I'm now in the, mo in the mode of, of risking my hard-earned capital on this trade. Do I want to take this trade? Is the deal right? Is it this? Is it that? Rather than when you're out and about around different places and you're just pulling the trigger. So that's a really good thing uh, to do. Second thing, guys, is to have a trigger for a different mindset. So what I mean by this is something triggers a different mindset and you a focused mindset of capitals at risk, capitals at risk, capitals at risk. I think it's okay being in different mindsets if you're kind of analyzing your charts and obviously you want to be focused so you're doing the good analysis and you're going through your, your, your journal and all these other bits and pieces that we talk about in trading that kind of bring together to become a good trader. You don't have to be as really laser focused. I think it still helps, but you definitely have to be when you're pulling the trigger and you're actually putting capital at risk. So that trigger could be as soon as I open my brokerage platform. When that platform is open, my mindset changes to business mode. I'm in business mode now, I'm putting capital at risk. I'm taking risk with money that I own. Do I want to take this risk? Is this the right decision for me to do? And that's a different mindset. And so something like having the brokerage account open, something like having your main PC on, or something that is a definite switch and a trigger in your mind that says, okay, serious mode now. We're not just glancing through financial news. We're not just looking through uh, charts casually while we're cooking a steak or whatever it may be, which we've probably all done. That's fine, I think that's okay. But now we're in serious mode now. Something has triggered us and said, right, we're in execution mode, we're professional, we're gonna act like a professional. Third thing, guys, is create rules around drinking time of day sleep. Listen, if you drink alcohol, you might have a glass of beer, you might have a glass of wine, you might have something in the evening, and the fact that you now have a trading terminal 
with probably quite a bit of buying power in within reach has been the downfall of a lot of traders. I've known a lot of traders who've had a few drinks, they've gone on to a chart, I've gone onto a market that's open and they've punted away and they've seriously regretted it. Just make, even if you don't think it's you, so you're not a big drinker, you don't drink much, uh, drinking, time of day, sleep, certain things where you just say, I'm not even gonna trade. So, hey, I just won't trade. If I've had a drink within the last hour, or obviously even drunk, obviously they don't start trading, but you get the point. Just being sensible about it because it's, it's tempting to say, oh, you know what, I've had a nice meal, a couple of glasses of wine, look at the markets. Oh, you know, you might take a trade. Now, this is something that you, you, should, you should never do once you become more of a professional at it, but it helps if you have in your mind that you say, you know what, this is the golden rule, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I'm not gonna start trading at 11 o'clock at night because my sleep's important, even if something's happening, screens go off. Uh, I also sleep, I don't have enough sleep, etc. Just having some rules around what you know is in your best interest for trading. Fourth thing, guys, is don't be tempted to keep your screens on. Super tempting, keep your screens on. You go out and about, you come back into your office, you have a little look. It's tempting to do that, but just make it an all or nothing thing, trading. Say, when the screens are on, I'm focused on watching. I'm not using it as a, a kind of, I wanna see what's going on, because that'll tempt you to overtrade. You'll come into your office, you'll see the screens on, you go, what's been going on? Oh, something's moving. I think that's gonna go higher. Click, and then you just get caught out, you lose money. If you're gonna trade, trade. If you're not gonna trade, don't trade. If you need to be aware of something that's moving, then use the alerts function. All the brokers have them, TradingView have them, all the charting platforms have them. Set your alerts, let it send you an email, let it send you an SMS. If it's something you specifically want, say a trading currency is 24-5 and you're prepared to be alerted at you know, midnight because it's a deal that potentially a good area, you don't want to put a resting order in, then use that. Don't just leave your screens on and have that kind of blending in with your home life. You know, it just, it just doesn't work long term, guys. Um, another thing is wear clothes. I know this is a bit of a joke, but you know, there's people who are out there who are just kind of stumbling into the trading. You know, they've got the boxers on, just been sleeping, and they start punting away on stuff at the open. Just add, just notch your professionalism up a bit. There's an advantage, you're not saying you have to wear a full pressed suit and you know, shiny shoes and stuff like this, but you know, if you take, if there's a psychological benefit here, guys, and I'm, say, I'm not saying to kind of go crazy, but the psychological difference between you just crawling in, in your boxer shorts, in your pajamas, in your whatever you're wearing, sleeping, maybe it's nothing, rolling in and trading versus, okay, going in, getting yourself ready, putting some clothes on, sitting at the desk, okay, I'm ready to trade. The difference in mindset is dramatic. You may think there's no difference, but there is. You are saying to yourself, I don't take this even seriously enough to have a shower, to put my clothes on. Okay, I'm taking this seriously enough to get ready, prepared, right, mentally prepared. I'm sitting down, now I'm in work mode. There's a big difference, guys. And I'm not kind of saying it in jest, but I know there's some people out there who are, who are doing it. And if you want to take trading seriously, sometimes it's just doing things that you might think are a bit stupid. It's like, why has he said that? It doesn't make any sense. of difference in my boxes or from this. It's how you are subconsciously then referencing that. It's how you're subconsciously consciously saying to yourself, I'm not taking this seriously because I wouldn't be doing anything else just sitting here without any, hardly any clothes on, just in my pajamas after just waking up. You know, so maybe he doesn't really want it that badly. Maybe he's not that interested in making this as a career. Maybe he doesn't want to make a living out of this. Maybe he doesn't want to become a professional. Maybe he doesn't want to make 10 million quid out of it. You know, that's the kind of thing that we're going on in your mind. Whereas if you're a little bit more focused but professional about it, then you're doing the right things that are, are kind of congruent with the messaging you're giving yourself. Anyway, it's a pretty deep topic, guys, but I think you probably get the point on that one. Um, some of the things there, five tricks or hacks, should I say, for trading from home. You got any? Add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out um, the link in the description below to our channel sponsor. Take care, keep this managed. Bye-bye for now.